using pyramid shapes in the microcosm, I guess you could say, atomically to create unique magnetic fields. Oh, wow. That only exist with the pyramid shape. That right. don't exist if you just have a flat shape. Right. And now old silicon learns new tricks, atomically architected silicon pyramids with unusual magnetic properties. And you see this image to the left there. When the silicon is set up like this on the atomic level, these little tiny pyramids, it generates a magnetic field that you can only get by using the, these specific shapes with the silicon at an atomic level. What's really bizarre is not only why did they try this, the implications of this in the real world, you have thousands of these tiny pyramids that are doing something at the atomic level. What does one gigantic pyramid do on Earth? Right. And how does it affect the magnetic field? What is it pulling in? Like, what is the purpose of the pyramid? Scientists. Magnetic flow of the pyramid. Energy coming at the tip of the pyramid being channeled out through the four corners of the base. See that? Opposite flow of the uh, ferro, which is iron, paramagnetic um, metals that flow from the bottom to the top. This is important to know. Extremely important to know. As you can see, the energy is going to the top of the pyramid and go down into the pyramid, the four corners. So basically, the energy is going, coming down into the pyramid and basically it enriches the land, all right, and creates um, a powerful magnetic field that can go for a very long um, span or long range all right I'll just show you here all right this is the power of the pyramids and this is why we've been talking about pyramids these sexes have been studying pyramids you know they've been studying this stuff here you know this is why we talked about building and creating physics science all this and you know I told you all you create a structure it literally pulls energy from everything that you created all right so they use miniature silicone pyramids, and those miniature silicone pyramids created magnetic fields. Just imagine the big, the bigger pyramids, just like um, the eight foot and the four foot pyramids I did. I'm getting ready to do the 16 foot pyramid. What do you think that would be feeling? Um, I'm sorry, I'm putting it out there. Um, extremely powerful magnetic fields coming from it. So you're increasing the the area of um, electromagnetic um, energy in certain areas in the room. So, let me share this ancient ritual with you. It's called Pa Mugaraj. <clears throat> this ancient ritual goes back to ancient Egypt thousands of years before many invasions occurred. The original mysteries and cultures that spread around from Uganda through Mali. Now the purpose of this ritual is to perform it with a sincere heart and a definite purpose in mind to realign yourself with the ethnic parents back to the realization of all. What is all, you may ask? The all is making your ascension on the way up through your chakra system all the way up to the bosom of all. As you can see, the white globe at the top of the human head. Shall we continue? What most people don't know is that the pyramid is an electromagnetic antenna that creates standing columnar waves to prevent the wobble of the earth. The first thing a person must realize about the pyramid is that the pyramids refocus light into an energy called NASA, which is the source of tachyon or technion frequencies, the physical, the mental, and the spiritual. And it opens the gateway to the spiritual realm, which creates a path for angel angelic personification. Okay, so what this all means is, I don't know if you see the labyrinth around the pyramid here in this picture. So I had the opportunity to help build the labyrinth around the pyramid, as well as perform the 
uh, Mugaraj uh, pilgrimage going around the pyramid. And it was, I would say, a most angelic ritual, one that you can ever perform that is very miraculous. And the energy that you feel from performing this ritual is amazing. You can actually see the angelic light beams hovering above you as you make this pilgrimage, uh, connecting yourself to all and your ancestors. This black pyramid that you see is called the Mir Pyramid. This pyramid had a crystal capstone on the top of the pyramid, which allowed light to come through the crystallized pyramid and allow you to connect with your ancestors. Earth is made out of energy, it's not made out of matter. And then I say, well, what does the quantum physicists call this energy that the universe is made out of? I say, well, they call it the field. I say, what's the definition of the field? I love this. Invisible moving forces that influence the physical world. I go, my goodness, that's the same definition as spiritual, it's used for spirit. I go, yes, quantum physics emphasizing the invisible uh, field as primary to the physical world is essentially reiterating the statement of the spiritual people who talked about the invisible forces shaping our physical existence. And so, by definition, science, the new science of quantum physics, is bringing us back into alignment with the spiritual reality. In 1977, and then again in 1987, electronics engineer and inventor Joe Parr conducted experiments on the top of the Great Pyramid. Using equipment of his own design, Parr measured the pyramid's electrical, magnetic, and radioactive properties. Joe Parr, who was my very close friend and research colleague, discovered what I believe is the most incredible discovery about the Great Pyramid and pyramids in general. Joe believed that the pyramids had an energy field around them. All pyramids had it. The problem is the pyramid energy field was usually not strong enough. So he developed in his laboratory a method for generating this pyramid energy. So then he could actually do scientific studies on it. Over the last few decades, people have been experimenting with pyramids. What has come to the forefront of this is the fact that pyramids are an enigma. They really have powers which are very hard to explain. And so people like Joe Parr have been looking into this. When somebody goes to the top of the Great Pyramid and experiences this weird electromagnetic vibration, this is not just a coincidence, but this has to do with the fact that the Great Pyramid is causing this. Joe Parr found out that if he put a model pyramid and spun it in a centrifuge through an alternating magnetic current. An energy field, or he calls it an orb or bubble, would form around the model pyramid. Joe found that this bubble or energy orb would block all known types of electromagnetic radiation, even gamma rays. Now this was interesting. We don't know of any types of energy forces that could do this. This is the most incredible thing about Joe Parr's discovery. In later laboratory experiments, Parr claimed to have discovered yet another strange physical phenomenon. The model pyramid became weightless in the energy field and began to move in a specific direction. They calculated the direction of this energy field where the pyramid would shoot out from. And guess what? It aligns exactly where we would see the constellation Orion. Nikola Tesla understood that energy should be free. And that's why pyramid means pyramidal or fire in the middle. And that also means heart or core. And that's what produces your electromagnetic field. Now all pyramids were connected to each other as a part of a giant magnetic grid. Now these pyramids are missing their capstones. If those capstones were found, we would have a functioning electric grid. But instead, we have 5G towers being erected all over the world, which are detrimental to biological life forms everywhere. And they must be a thousand feet away from each other, which is very near compared to the pyramids around the world being connected across continents. 
free energy is real and it's being suppressed. And that's for the exact reason why they destroyed Tesla's Wardenclyffe power tower so that way we can pay PGE money for gas and electric. Nikola Tesla's tower was able to transmit energy instantaneous with zero lag and no attenuation whatsoever, and he called it teleforce. And you hear telephone or telegraph. The stationary waves did not go up and down. They were neutral pulses of energy causing instant action from a distance. The magnetic field itself is a magnanimous force that is both voluminous and luminous because magnetism carries electricity, and it has the ability to produce light. The electromagnetic wavelength is the measurement of time, and the wave amplitude is the measurement of space. And going back to the word pyramid is pyromid, which means fire in the middle. The king's chamber was located at the core of the Great Pyramid, and your heart is the center or core of your body. The Earth's core is where the electromagnetic field around the Earth plane is produced, and our heart is where our magnetic field is produced. We can align our atoms and our chakras to become one with the Earth, and that's why grounding is important. Every single person is important. Every person is an important piece of the puzzle. We're all a part of the big picture. We're all one. So what is the point of all of this? All physicality is sustained by motion, therefore all appearing to be solid matter, and is actually composed of non-solid energies vibrating at a certain frequency. If the atoms no longer vibrate, they will return to their primordial state, which is invisible, massless, weightless, substanceless energy. Nick were actually geomechanical devices. In other words, they were attached to the earth. They were tuned to vibrate with the frequencies of the earth, and they converted the energies of the earth into electromagnetic energy. Best example of this is in the, the Great Pyramid. It's probably the most precise structure on the planet. Well, I hope you um, enjoyed this small session on um, pyramid science. Um, one thing I do know is that the Oregon pyramids that you create do create, do create a magnetic field. And it is something that is um, powerful. And like the first video, it talked about how they used silicone, uh, had created silicone pyramids, but the pyramids created an electromagnetic field. So something for y'all to think about. All right, they create magnetic fields, and that energy is beautiful. All right, it's beautiful energy. Something for you all to really think about. Um. Pyramids are a part of the lives of the original beings. 
and this is a part of the physics that we have been removed from so um, it's a lot for us to learn and so much more for us to learn I, should, I wish it was more of us on these videos instead of these Saxons but you know it is what it is you know because it seems like our people are not interested in such matter but they want to talk about Egypt all the time oh my goodness my goodness so um I hope this um lesson was helpful for you I hope that you all can grow from this alright and just like the last two messages you know we're the center of everything and we're literally nature so let's get into the technology of nature alright let's bring ourselves back to greatness and all the way we're going to bring ourselves back to greatness is we got to do something we got to build something got to create nothing's going to come to us and ain't nobody going to come down and build it for us <laughs> alright guys catch you guys later